accept no enforcement whatsoever for this illegal competition and I'm, I'm at my wit's end. They're targeting children with treats and in the process stealing business from traditional stores. Team 10 investigator Allison Ash is joining us with why one store owner says parents should be worried. Allison. Yeah, you know, after a day at school, kids love to load up on this kind of stuff. Uh, we're talking chips, we're talking candy, we're talking pop. Well, do you know, though, where it really came from if they bought it from a street vendor? It's a daily scene when schools let out in City Heights. Vendors with carts and goodies standing by to earn a buck. On school campus property, if not, they're directly across the street targeting children and unrefrigerated carts and unlicensed cars and whatever it is, it just shouldn't happen. Joe Atik isn't just concerned about whether the treats these vendors are selling are healthy, he's worried about his bottom line. Problem is, is I have people, vendors come in in front of my market, open up shop in their cars and their carts and steal my business. He estimates 20% of his business is lost to street vendors. And even though he's complained to City Hall, he says those complaints have fallen on deaf ears. And there are laws, there are codes, there are dozens of things that they can use to fight this problem, but it's tolerated and only in City Heights. Atik complains the city of San Diego has done nothing. We checked city code and learned the push carts are supposed to be licensed and that permit should be prominently displayed. Do you have a permit? A vendor's permit? Uh, no. This vendor took off, but a second vendor showed me he did have a valid permit, and he let me check to make sure his ice cream was properly refrigerated. So it's nice and cold in there. But he didn't hang around to do business after I confronted him. We contacted the city of San Diego, and they're aware there are some vendors working without permits, but say unless they have a complaint, they can't do much, and they encourage people like Joe Atik to keep calling. They don't want to do anything that's right. They want to do whatever's going to, you know, further their political ambitions and their careers. And the small guy at the store is nobody to worry about. I got to tell you, once we showed up on scene, uh, the guys who were selling this stuff on the street, they pretty much disappeared. A city spokesperson told me there have only been three complaints in the last three years. They responded to all of them. But funny thing, today after I contacted the county to see if the health department had been inspecting any of these carts, all of a sudden, San Diego police and county health inspectors were said to be out cracking down on street vendors. We're live in the newsroom. Allison Ash, Team 10. It is a health concern for our kids. Allison, thank you. Team 10 is always working to get your results. If you have a story you'd like us to check out, email us at team10 at 10news.com.